everyone. It's time for story time. And um, this week I'm going to read again from our superhero storybook. This is a wonderful book. I love this. It talks about all the superheroes in the Bible. So I have a couple picked out today that I'd like to read. I know I've been reading them the last couple of weeks, but I really like reading out of this book. It's awesome. So this is Superhero Healed Man. Miraculously healed and incredibly thankful. Jesus became famous as someone who could heal diseases. More and more people knew about him. And one day, Jesus was traveling to Jerusalem and was about to pass through a small village when he heard someone calling to him. He looked around and saw ten men standing nearby. And they were crying out, Jesus, please have mercy on us. All ten of the men had a terrible disease that destroyed their skin. People who had this disease, which was called leprosy, were forced to leave their homes and their families and live in a special camp that was away from other people. This was so, this was so that no one else would catch the terrible disease. Please heal us, the men begged. They wanted to be well again. They wanted to go back to their families. Jesus looked at them and said, Go show yourselves to the priests. That's all he said. That's all he did. As the ten men took off running to see the priests, something amazing happened. Miracle of miracles. As they ran, their skin disease began to disappear. They were well. Jesus healed all ten of the men. Nine men kept right on running to show the priests what had happened to them. But one man stopped. He turned around and came back to Jesus. Thank you for healing me, said the man. Jesus said, I healed ten men. But only one man came to, to thank me. What happened to the other nine? They didn't bother to thank Jesus. Superhero characteristic. Real superheroes are not afraid to say thank you. They heal, the healed leper was a hero because he went back to thank Jesus for his miraculous healing. Superhero tip. It is important to thank God for answers to your prayers and for all the wonderful things he does for you, small things and big things. That's so true, boys and girls. Let's see who else we have. Oh, here's another good one. Superhero Good Samaritan, Action Man. One day a man asked Jesus, what he would have to know that he what he would have to know that he would be in heaven someday. And Jesus reminded him of the teaching, love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your strength and all your mind, and love your neighbor as you love yourself. The man wanted to make his own actions look good, so he asked Jesus who he should consider to be his neighbor. Jesus told this story to help the man understand. A Jewish man was on his way to Jericho when robbers attacked him and beat him up. They robbed him and, and even took his clothes and left him lying on the road to die. Pretty soon, a priest came down the road. Oh, good, the man thought. Surely a priest will stop and help me. But the priest saw the man and crossed the road to get away from him. Later, a church worker came down the road, but, but he stepped over the man and kept on going, too. Finally, a man from Samaria came by. Now, everyone knows that Samaritans and Jews didn't like each other. But this good Samaritan stopped and helped the man. He even took him to an inn and paid the innkeeper to take care of the, the hurt man until he was well. Then Jesus turned to the man who had asked the question, Which man was the real neighbor to the hurt man? The one who helped him, the, the man answered. Yes, 
So go and live your life in that way, Jesus said. Superhero Characteristic The Good Samaritan was a man of action. When he saw someone in need, he did something about it. He was helpful and he was kind. Superhero Tip Helping all who need help not just your friends, is an awesome way to show God's love to others. Well, that's wonderful, boys and girls, isn't it? I have one more I wanted to read. I know you'll know this name when I say it, because we sing a song with this name in it. Superhero Zacchaeus, a little man with a big heart. Zacchaeus was a rich tax collector. No one liked tax collectors because they cheated the people out of their money and kept it for themselves. That's how they got rich. One day, Zacchaeus heard that Jesus was coming to his town. He had heard about Jesus and he really wanted to see him. Zacchaeus went to the street where Jesus was going to pass by, but it was crowded with people. No one would let the tax collector through to the front of the crowd, and he was too short to see over the people. So Zacchaeus climbed up in a tree that was right beside the street. He would be able to see Jesus from there. When Jesus passed by, he looked up at the tax collector and said, Come down, Zacchaeus. I want to come to your house today. Oh, Zacchaeus couldn't believe it. He came right down and went to his house with Jesus. The people were upset that Jesus would sp spend time with a cheating tax collector. They didn't know that while Jesus and Zacchaeus talked, the little tax collector said, I'm so sorry that I have cheated people. I will give half of all my money to the poor, and I promise to pay back four times the amount of money I have stolen from people. I won't cheat anyone ever again. Jesus was happy that Zacchaeus was turning away from doing wrong. He was happy that the tax collector would live for God now. We always sing that song about Zacchaeus was a wee little man, remember? Superhero characteristic. Zacchaeus might have been a short, greedy little man, but he had a big change of heart. After he met Jesus, he changed from being mean and dishonest to being generous and paying back what he owed everyone. That's a superhero change of heart. Superhero tip. When you know Jesus, you will be sorry for the wrong things you do. You will turn away from doing those things and turn to Jesus and what he wants you to do. He will help you do what is right. Well, isn't that true, boys and girls? Wow, three superheroes that we read about today. Well, I hope you enjoyed the three superhero stories that we talked about to get today. And that last one, we are I mean, we're all familiar with all of them, but that last one, Zacchaeus, remember we sang it in Sunday school almost every week. And that was one of your favorite songs. So, boys and girls, until our next story time, I hope you enjoyed today's superheroes. And until we read about some more, have a great week. Bye.